Well, today on Gearbox, we've got this guy, the Martin Mac Viper Air FX yeah. fixture in for review. Jason, what are your thoughts on this thing? Now, I'm not going to say this very often about a moving head fixture, but I think it looks really cool. <laughs> I really like I, the industrial I, design. Yeah, I do think it's, uh, they, they've, it's, it looks good even before you turn it on, but mm. um, for me, I like what happens after you turn it on. Oh well, yeah, very, very, very impressive things. Now, um, for a start, it can put out uh, 34,500 lumens. That's quite a lot. Yes, it's, it's not bad. It's considerable. for something this size. And, you know, it does it quite quietly and efficiently. Yes. Um, yeah, from a thousand watt uh, short arc discharge. Um, mm. I think probably it would be fair to say that the enormous lens the size of a side plate on the front <laughs> end is probably helping it along a little bit. Mm. Um, beam feature wise, we're not we're not over the top here with mm. uh, with features, and this is not really a fixture that's so much about lighting stuff up as uh, being used for aerial effects. Yeah. Uh, hence why I've got it pointed straight down the barrel of the camera today, mm. um, just so you can see what it looks like. I've actually got the camera sitting in the one section of the beam or one section where there is no light being emitted in the beam. Mm. Um, I really like the output of this. I like the gobos. I think it looks cool. Uh, as I said, it's about aerial effects. Yeah. So you're not going to get like super sharp gobo projection onto mm. a surface. No. But what you are going to get is really good, solid, punchy mm. uh, mid-air effects. And, and we've got, you know, we've got cyan in this and we've got it sort of zoomed out a little bit. Mm -hmm. You can actually zoom quite narrow. Yep, 11 to uh, 59. Yeah, so yep. that's a really good range. And uh, obviously you can use it as a wash fixture as well. Mm -hmm. Um, look, I think there's a lot to like about this. I think it's pretty keenly priced too. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I really love that they've put handles on the yoke. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The this industrial is, design is really is, nice. Like this has been a classic problem mm. with moving headlights for ever, mm. basically. Mm. Um, and, and this is actually built to be easy to rig for two people. And I think they've done a really good job of it. The menu's good, it's all intuitive. It boots up pretty fast. The movement on it's great, yeah. uh, it's quiet. It just gets on with the job and I really like it. Yeah, Martin have done well here. Well look, thanks for watching the video today. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and share us with your friends.